Hey guys, Brenny here, and today I'm going to recreate the um, combination lock I did a while ago because apparently my one isn't working for 1.4. I don't know, maybe I did something wrong in there. But anyway, what you're going to do is just do this setup. Every put a space away from the door, a button, space away from that button, or, and then four switches. You can have more if you want, but it's up to you. Now, what you're going to do is randomize the switches how you want them. So I would like it actually these two down and these two up. And now what you're going to do is you're going to put a torch behind the door, uh, the switches. Now anyone with the torch switched on is a wrong torch basically. So we have to put a block under it and just have the power source coming from it. See how it's turned off now? And the whole point of that is to get the power off when the code is right so that we can invert that to having the power up. Uh, uh, para. I said that stupidly, didn't I? Um, so we can invert that to having the power on when the code is right. But see, now, because if you make a mistake, say we did this as the code, the, all the power's on. And when the code's right, the power goes off, which is how you really want it. And now what you need to do is, once you've done that, you just add an inverter, and that will connect to an AND gate. So we'll have our... We, now we have our button, we just need to lead a path from that without a redstone torch to an AND gate, which will go here. Mm, you could actually, we could twist it, we'll twist the AND gate so that it um, takes up less room. But remember, you got to do this underground so you'll have pathways going underground and crap. It, it is a bit confusing how to get getting things underground, but once you get like a little basis of it, you're good to go. Alright, so that's good, and now you make your basic AND gate like this and then that would connect to the door and when the code is right the door will open but when the code is wrong the door won't open and that works so I'll it just to do an ex explanation of how that works it's because basically whenever any code here is wrong it turns on the power so there's no real way that the thing could be right unless they're all turned off which is the right code basically so I turn this one down that's the right code it turns off which turns this torch on which turns this torch off which just allows us to press that button which will turn this torch off and that sends power to the door so yeah thanks for watching I hope this cleared up a few things for people because I am getting a few comments a day about it so yeah leave a thumbs up please bye